fucking kids. Fuck the kids? Yeah. Now, when I say who's the master, you say What is up guys, Showing Up The King here, back with another video, and today it's time to talk HasLab. Alright, so, uh, I gotta, I gotta admit, you know, I, I do my best to, you know, stay positive and, you know, like I said, I, I, I keep it 100 with you guys. So, when I like something, I'm going to tell you about it, I don't care what anybody says, and if I don't like something, I'm going to also tell you about it, and again, I don't care what anybody says. So, as you guys know, if you, you know, you guys know my, my, my stance on the uh, HasLab Ghost Rider and uh, the current funding thing and I, what I told you guys Hasbro needed to do in order to get this thing funded. And um, just to recap, I clearly said that at this point, the you guys have to reveal all three unlocks and you guys have to put your best foot forward. You got to knock that shit out of the park because right now the negativity for this thing People are not seeing the value in the item itself on its own. So these unlocks have to knock it out of the park in order to show the value that they would be getting if they get all the unlocks. Right? I said that. So at PulseCon, Hasbro, again, they killed it with their Marvel Legends panel, but they didn't really kill it when it came to the HasLab Ghost Rider. So they basically uh, gave a little hint, and I did this in my other video. You go back and see that. I, I thought it was like the Cedarac jewel, but uh, somebody in the comment section told me it was Goblin Queen. And um, again, lo and behold, that's what we ended up getting. So as you can see here, this is the Goblin Queen that Hasbro has um, shown for the unlock for this HasLab project. And what I have to say about this thing is that it is beautiful. It has a lot that I like, and then there is something that I really don't like, okay? So if we look at the things that I like, again, I love that head sculpt. That is quite possibly the best looking female head sculpt that I've seen come out of Marvel Legends in a very long time. Better than the original 90s Rogue, better than uh, Riri Williams for the comic version of Ironheart. Like, it is a gorgeous fucking head sculpt. So the issue that I have with this thing is the cleavage. So, again, I know, I know. Let, let, we're, we're going to talk about it. So, let me show you guys the custom right here, all right? This is what Goblin Queen is supposed to look like, right? This is a custom that someone did of the Goblin Queen. And, again, this is how Goblin Queen looks in the comics. Again, comics... HasLab. You see what's wrong here? <laughs> so here's the thing that pisses me off. So you have a crowdfunded project that you got going on, right? This is a project that's costing $350. And you. this is a project that is being sold to adults. There are no kids. There are no parents that are buying their child a $350 car, an action figure. So you guys know it has, bro, that this is only going to be sold to adults. Why in God's name would you take a character that has been represented in the comic books as a sexy demon witch with the cleavage out and you guys take it upon yourself to go in and censor it? Like, it boggles the mind. Like, I clearly said in my video that you guys had to knock these unlocks out of the park. How do you get the head sculpt right? How do you get even, like, I could even, with the little uh, loincloth on her on the lower half, you can even get me with that. Like, that looks fine. Why would you sit there and create this, like, weird, random, armor-looking cleavage cover? Like, it's stupid. It, it is the dumbest thing that I've ever seen, and it literally pisses me off. This is a project that's being sold to adults. Why would you censor it? Look at what she's supposed to look, look at that. That sells itself. Look at that. Imagine taking the head sculpt from Marvel Legends and putting it on this body. That thing would sell gangbusters. Like, again, you guys do not use your brains. Like, are you guys even thinking right now? 
This is selling to, and again, like use this picture as a prime example. Yes, she comes with a skull. So what? You could have just added in some little tiny miniature demons. If that's like, if that's what comes with it, instead of giving us that skull, you could have given us like one or two little miniature demons and then it would have been perfect. And you guys would have got some goodwill, if you, especially if you would have added the cleavage. Trust me, I know guys. I know guys, and trust me, if you guys would have done something that was outside of the normal, like again, I get it. That kind of figure would never be sold in stores. Like you would never walk into a Target and see that. You would never walk into a Walmart and see that kind of figure because you don't want the, like that excuse makes sense to me. Like I can comprehend that and defend that decision, but not when you're talking about it in a HasLab. No, because again, you're selling direct to the consumer who is 99.9% Minimum age is between 18 and 21, minimum. And you're not going to sit here and tell me that, oh, we, you, there's a hand. No, this is direct to the consumer. There's no way that you guys should have given us this thing with this cleavage looking, with, with zero cleavage. Come on, man. It, 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 and then it's, it's like you guys are taking, like I said, it's like you're taking one step forward and two steps back. So you do a great thing. So again, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to leave out the good thing that they did. So again, they went on ahead and they realized that the unlock is for the for the uh, Mephisto was twelve thousand was not going to really happen, even if they got to the nine. So what they're doing at this point is they're reevaluating things. They're like, all right, so we're going to make Goblin Queen the first tier unlock. We're going to push uh, Mephisto to number two, right? Fine. So you go ahead and you make Goblin Queen unlock after 10,000. So, you know, if it funds at nine and then it goes to 10, boom, you get your Goblin Queen. So then that's good. That's good. Love that. I know there are some people that are complaining about it, but I'm like, that is smart. That is you guys reflecting and showing that this thing needs help. Because again, the numbers are still dropping. Like ever since you guys, even after you guys announced the Robbie Reyes head and, and um, hoodie, the numbers didn't move. They have not moved. They've only gone down. So then you guys announced this Goblin Queen, and I'm like, the head scope is fucking amazing. I even like the multicolored cloak. I like the body that she has. The alternate hands look good. I mean, I could do without the skull, but sure, we can deal with that. It looks like that skull came from like the apocalypse, by the way. Y'all could have just added in a little miniature demon and then at least show that you cared. But then you guys, you guys take us two steps back by not doing the, the character exactly how she looks in the comics. There's no comic book where she's got that shit covered up like that. And y'all know it. So why do that? It's stupid. It is absolutely stupid. And I'm like, again, you are selling this direct to the consumer. There's no reason why you guys shouldn't have done this thing accurately. And this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. It's like you guys end up for every little bit of goodwill that you create, you just piss off everybody else. And I'm just like, you guys just, just do not want this thing to get funded. Like that's, I'm just con I'm just convinced now that you guys are just blind and you just do not see your foibles. Like you guys are just not reading the room well. You're not. Like look at that and look at that. Look at that and look at this. I mean, come on, man. It's like, you almost had it too. You almost had it. Like, look, y'all had the loincloth and everything. Like, it was it was good. It was good. So y'all had the loincloth popping. Y'all had the you had the arms and the, 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 even though the cape itself, I wish it would have been like a bendy wire or at least cloth. I'm fine with it being a little plastic joint. And again, the head sculpt is so beautiful. Like, you could reuse this on Dark Phoenix. You can reuse this on any number of gene grades and again it would be beautiful but i just i just couldn't get it together man i don't i don't know look here's here's where i stand with this project i'm still going to i'm still going to um keep my backing in because again at this point like it's like i've said a thousand times it does not make any sense for me to withdraw my backing because again at the end of the day if it gets close to the funding date and they don't have what i want i can always back out so I'm not going to back out early and just make the numbers drop and then join back later. It's just a waste of time. Like if I'm, I'm already back it, I'm going to continue to back it. And then again, once we see like the other figure better be Blackheart and y'all better not fuck this up. Like honestly, at this point, y'all need to take this, this thing, take this feedback, take this back to the drawing board and add in that cleavage. So I'm telling you, you guys just, there was like an alley-oop. 
You know when you know guys what they think with. They don't think with the top head. They think with the bottom head. So, <laughs> like I hate to be crass, but it is what it is. I'm like, trust me. Like if you guys could have nailed this figure, I guarantee you this thing would have funded. It would have funded. But no, you know what? I don't know if it's Disney. I don't know if you guys are just being like, I don't know. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I'm upset. I'm upset. So that's the update. Again, I'm not going to make this like a super long video. Just let me know what you guys think. Rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Showing Up the King. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.